And welcome everyone to Fox Sports Chat. I'm Andy Katz. Please be joined by Creighton's Marcus Zigorowski. Uh, Marcus, uh, you had a knee injury right before the Big East tournament. So we don't know what was going to happen. Big East tournament, NCAA tournament. We didn't get to see any of it uh, for the most part in terms of, uh, well, we saw a little of the Big East tournament, but in terms of the NCAA tournament. Um, what were the chances that you were going to really be able to play in the postseason? Zero percent. Um, so going into surgery, you know, we were unsure of like what, uh, what uh, they were going to do, whether they were going to take the meniscus out or repair it. And, um, to, to, like through the MRI, you couldn't really tell. And then, you know, you know, it was kind of a, uh, surgery decision, like why they were, you know, scoping me and they just, uh, they decided you know, to repair the whole thing. And, you know, it's honestly worked out, you know, the best, you know, for me in my career, you know, they can, you know, you want to, like, you want to repair the knee and, but it is also a longer timetable. You're, you're out like three months. So I was not going to be able to play in the NCAA tournament or the, uh, obviously not the Big East. Well, that was kind of weird. You guys only played a half uh, against yeah. St. John's in that first game um, on uh, Thursday before everything got shut down. Um, so obviously you knew it. We didn't know it necessarily what was happening with your status. What was that like knowing that you weren't going to be able to play in the postseason this whole uncertainty that was going on, your team's only playing a half of basketball. What was what, what were those hours like? Yeah, it was crazy. You know, it was a it was a like I, I I experienced like every emotion in like 48 hours. You know, you know, winning the regular season championship in the Big East that that felt amazing. And then one of the last plays of the game, I do I do that to my knee. It's like you go from the highest to the lowest really quick. And then you're I'm unsure of like what's going on these next few days, whether it's whether it actually is an injury where I'll be out, you know. And then, um, you know, with the virus thing going on, it was just – it was hectic. And, you know, obviously not being able to play was – it hurt the most. And then, you know, but I was still looking forward to seeing my teammates, you know, go out there in the Big East, still make a run, and go out there in the March Madness and still make a run. And, you know, that that also hurt. But, you know, it, it is, it's, it's bigger than us. And, you know, honestly, with my injury, it, it, it probably happened at the right time. So you're also in a very unique situation because a lot of players I've been talking to, they're trying to work out uh, at home. A lot of them don't have any access to a basketball hoop, whether mm -hmm. that's privately or certainly they can't publicly. Um, but you've actually got a rehab. Uh, and most high-level athletes do that in a facility. Mm -hmm. So you're at home in Massachusetts. How are you going to rehab a knee injury to get ready for what we hope is a season in November? Yeah, I mean, you know, good thing for me, like the first four weeks, you can't really do much. You know, tomorrow is actually going to be um, the four week period since the day of surgery. So, you know, all, all I've been doing is a lot of quad activation stuff, you know, using the compacts and, you know, just, you know, it's really like you really just got to stay away from the knee these first three because you, like, you got to let it stay, be stable, like let it heal back uh, correctly. And, you know, I, next, next week, I'm actually going to head out to my staff and start working with, with them, and, uh, just trying to get back as, you know, as safely, as quick as possible, you know, make sure my knee, because, you know, right now there's no reason to rush, you know, it's early, and, um, but yeah, you know, also I've been FaceTiming, you know, uh, my staff as well, you know, they're just making sure I'm doing the right thing with my knee, and it's been good so far. All right, so let's assume you're healthy, and there is a season. Uh, I've got Creighton as one of my top 10 teams in my Power 36. Um, you know, more than likely, you guys are going to be picked one or two in the Big East uh, because you've got the core of this team returning, at least at this juncture. As we're talking, we're not hearing about guys transferring or leaving early for the NBA at this point. Um, all things happening, as I'm saying, what do you think are the chances for this Creighton team to not just potentially share the Big East again, but actually win it and get in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, I... You know, obviously, I think, uh, you know, we're going to be a really, really, really tough team to play next season. You know, I don't want to go in and say, oh, yeah, we're going to win it. You know, that's not how it works. You know, last year we were picked seventh in the Big East, and uh, we actually finished seventh in the country. So, you know, all that preseason talk, you know, it, it's kind of cool to see, you know, how far we've came and all the work we put in. But, you know, our mindset going into next season is, you know, we have unfinished business, and, you know, we still don't have, you know, we, you know, at, last year, at, like last year at around this time we were, we weren't talked about at all. And, you know, just because we're talked about now doesn't mean we can kind of get complacent. We still got to, you know, have that chip on our shoulder and still go out there and, you know, you know, try and beat guys down. Well, Marcus, I wish you a very safe journey to Omaha. 
get healthy, uh, not just physically with your knee, but stay healthy, obviously, with everything else that we're dealing with. And hopefully we're going to see you back on the court in November. And we're going to be watching college basketball here soon. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.